Hello everyone and welcome to my very first video on Dierbach Schenk. Uh, we're going to take a look around uh, in one of the biggest exhibits so far in the park, which is the elephant exhibit. The African elephant exhibit to be uh, more precise. So, um, on that bombshell of an introduction we're going to uh, take a look. So, when you get from the entrance into the African area, we will be greeted with this little view. Um, yeah, you can see the exhibit of the elephants with the building and the elephants and the moat. And yeah, <laughs> not all that much spectacular to it, but I like it. I tried my best not to just have a simple building and added some detail to it with the pillars and the overhang kind of thingies and a food thing. <laughs> And the windows at the top. So it's as spectacular as you're going to get a building in Sudokum 2. So the, um, the African Elephant exhibit, one of the most important exhibits of the African area because of course elephants and it's pretty much in the middle of the entire thing as far as it is uh, planned right now. Um, there are two main viewing points for the visitors, one over here as you can see and one over here. Um, this one is more of a yeah a overview kind of viewing point where you can see the uh, the real width of the uh, exhibit and the other one is more diagonally to it so it's it looks a little bit better. It looks more beautiful but that one is more effective I guess. Then if we walk around here through all of the useless bushes which really should have something to look at but don't at the moment we have a little sneak peek kind of thing here and then we get to the actual uh, indoor section of the uh, exhibit um, here we have a little uh, viewing point again over which we can uh, see the eating area for the elephants and the, the little moats drinking area kind of thing and then on the inside we first have the inside parts for the, uh, the closed off section, the backstage section for some elephants which need to be backstage for whatever reason. And then the uh, indoor pens for the other ones. The elephants themselves get in here through this door at the very right of the exhibit. And the backstage area is rather large and yeah, necessary for whatever reason sometimes the animals will uh, need to be closed off from the rest of the group and they will be put over here where the guests can't see them but the employees can and they can be monitored etc. So that's pretty much all for the elephant exhibit I guess. Um, yeah, it's pretty big. That's <laughs> pretty much as big as you're going to get a exhibit in Zudagoon as the game isn't really built for very big exhibit because as you can see this is the entire freaking map so the uh, consists out of a lot of maps just um, with single exhibits in each and every one of them so the elephant exhibit then because this will be a very short video if we only go over the elephants we're going to go through the rest of this map uh, starting off with the very first exhibit I actually built for this park, the Dwarf Temple, I guess we can call it. So, as you can see, it's, um, uh, yeah, I try to make a building, a <laughs> uh, sort of temple kind of thing, hence the name. And as you can see, it's pretty much outdated for the rest of the park because you saw the size of the elephant enclosure and then you see the size of these. And these are for the big knee hippos. Um, yeah, not much to them really. So islands with water around them, rocks, shrubbery, etc. You can walk around them. So yeah, they can't really hide from you. <laughs> you will always be able to see them. Which is something I like, but it's not something that the animals will like. So this building needs a big revamp somewhere in the future, but not right it is what it is for right now. Then on the inside we have uh, yeah, well, the indoor exhibits of the, the hippos 
just concrete and water. Everything they need is right here. And then um, getting into the temple itself, we also have the dwarf crocodiles terrarium over here. Uh, yeah, I try my best to make it look rainforesty, but that is not really easy in this game as realistic foliage is a shortage over here and especially rainforesty foliage hence why there is no real rainforesty <laughs> foliage over here and it's more a temperate kind of thing but the idea is there and the colors are there and you can imagine that this would be um, a tropical rainforesty so yeah we have the, uh, the crocs over here in this uh, quite big terrarium, really. So yeah, that's uh, that's the temple, I guess. It's uh, pretty large, and it has to be because yeah, otherwise we couldn't fit the terraria in there. Uh, realistically, I'd like to have um, an area at the back of it. Uh, yeah, make the indoor exhibits for the hippos a little bit bigger. And make them connect we to them uh, to each other, so that's something for the future, I guess. Yeah, so let's get into the next exhibit. Um, the flamingos, greater and lesser flamingos, over here. Uh, it is an exhibit with multiple layers, and it's really camouflaged. You can see the uh, walls at the back, the shrubbery everywhere, and yeah, there's a whole lot of rocks. <laughs> and a lot of water with little islands in the middle. Um, yeah, the flamingos itself can get onto a lot of different places. Here they have a little secluded pond which the people can't see. And then we have the indoor building which they get to from over here. Or I'll wait a little bit. They're here. And this little uh, building thing which they get into, and it's their uh, indoor area with a uh, special area for the employees of the park, zookeepers, etc. And then there is this little backstage part for the flamingos as well, which can be closed off, I guess. But it's, uh, yeah, there are a lot of flamingos in this exhibit, or there at least should be, there aren't really, because FPS reasons, which as you can see is already a big problem, because, well, plants. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all for the flamingos and then we have one final exhibit in this map which is the African leopards which is huge um, and rocky and lots of rocks so yeah once again a kind of moat kind of thing glass um, a little patch of grass to make sure the guests don't just knock on the windows and etc and it's a really big exhibit with with multiple layers and a lot of plants and foliage and logs and rocks and etc and a little river in the middle here but as you can see the sideline doesn't really do it justice and I need a higher viewpoint for this some time but yeah as far as it goes right now um, the yeah, the way you can view the exhibit right now, it looks it looks big, and that was what I wanted. You can see the rocks in the back, and I like that. And you have an inside part with the most hideous looking building in the world, with no interior because I was lazy. Yeah, and here you the sidelines here are a little bit better, except for over here. While I think it would be cool if there was one standing over here, but yeah, you see the layers and the rocks better over here but from the inside it does itself the best justice so you have the river and yeah layers upon layers upon layers um <laughs> the lab have a nice view of the elephant exhibit and my fps is dying right now um the lepers have a backstage area as all er as all uh, animals do Except for the dwarf, uh, the dwarf crocodiles, I guess. So they go in through here and get into this, which is their backstage part, um, with indoor parts and uh, 
even a secluded boss for if one really making trouble then they can put them over here and yeah this is for the employees once again and they get out of here and enjoy their lives so for a last overlook of the thing oh <laughs> not the best okay so for a little overlook of the air of the exhibit from the air it looks way better than from the from than from the ground I think so yeah I like the exhibit but it needs some work as do all of these but the idea is there and it's the yeah it's a beginning for the bug and future exhibits are better thought out and better in general but this was my beginning of the Obak Hank, my most ambitious Sudokun project and the one I am most proud of so far. So I hope you enjoy this, I hope you will enjoy it in the future as well. Give me suggestions, give me tips, give me any sort of feedback and I will be, you will make my day, my week, my month, my year. So yeah, those are the first four exhibits of the Robert Genk. I'll see you sometime in the future, and uh, until then, a goodbye!